When a new charter school opened in 2005, there were 350 students enrolled. Since then, the student population has decreased by 100 students every two years. We're asked to write a formula for the function n of t, which will be a linear function, representing the number of students attending this charter school t years after 2005. So notice how the starting year is 2005. The general form of a linear function is f of x equals mx plus b, if we have a function of x where m is equal to the slope, which represents the constant rate of change, which also equals the change in output divided by the change in input, and b is equal to the vertical intercept, and for application problems, b is equal to the initial amount or starting amount. It would also be the ordered pair zero comma b. So because we're looking for a linear function n of t, notice how the input variable is t, not x, and therefore our linear function will be in the form n of t equals mt plus b. Again, the input variable is t, not x. So in order to find our linear function, we need to find the slope m and the vertical intercept b. And we can get both of these from the given information. Again, it's important to recognize that t represents the number of years after 2005, and therefore the student enrollment in 2005 would be the initial amount or the value of b. So because in 2005 there were 350 students, this tells us b, the initial or starting amount, equals 350. This also tells us the ordered pair, zero comma 350, would satisfy our linear function. And now let's talk about the slope. In general, the slope is equal to the change in output divided by the change in input, but in this situation, the slope would be equal to the change in enrollment divided by the change in years. So if we analyze the second sentence, we should be able to determine the slope. We're told that the student population has decreased by 100 every two years. And therefore the slope m must be equal to, well the change in enrollment would be negative 100 because the enrollment is decreasing by 100. So we'd have negative 100 divided by the change in years we're told is every two years. So the change in years is two. Simplifying we have negative 100 divided by two, which equals negative 50. So because the slope equals negative 50, this tells us the student population decreased by 50 students each year. And this is all the information we need in order to write our linear function. We now know that n of t is equal to negative 50t plus b, which equals 350. And just to verify this, notice how if we determine the function value n of zero, which should be the starting enrollment of 350, we'd have negative 50 times zero plus 350, which does equal 350. And if we find n of two, we should get the student enrollment two years after the starting year, which we know should be 100 less students. So we'd have negative 50 times two plus 350, which would be negative 100 plus 350, which does give us 250, 100 less students than two years before. I hope you found this helpful.